OpenAI has just done something incredible with their latest creation, QSTAR. We're here to make it super simple for you. Perfect for beginners, this guide will walk you through what QSTAR is and what it means. Let's reveal what it is all about. Let's break down the name QSTAR. It combines two important ideas from computer science and AI. The first part, Q, stands for Q learning. This is a kind of learning in AI where it is trained to make decisions. It's like teaching someone to follow certain rules or strategies. Unlike other methods, Q learning doesn't need a detailed map of the environment it's working in. It's good at dealing with situations where things can change unexpectedly and still figuring out what to do. To understand Q learning better, think of it like this. Imagine an AI is like a student learning by trying different things. It's similar to playing a video game. In the game, every choice you make leads to a new situation. As you play more, you learn which moves work best. In Q learning, the AI gets rewards for good choices and doesn't get rewards for bad ones. This helps the AI learn the best ways to act, much like a player learns the best strategies in a game. Now let's look at the star part of Q star, which is about the A star, A star search algorithm. This algorithm is really important in computer science, especially for figuring out the best path in a network, like finding finding the quickest way in a maze. The A star is known for being really good at quickly finding the shortest route from one point to another. It's kind of like a super smart GPS system that can figure out the fastest way to get somewhere, even in places it's never been before. When we combine this with Q learning, we get Q star. Think of it as a system that's not just good at making smart choices based on what it's learned before, but also great at figuring out the best way to go, sort of like solving a tricky puzzle or making a plan in a game. Basically, Q star is a way of building AI that learns from what it does and gets really good at making decisions and planning. It's like teaching AI to be both a quick learner and a great problem solver. This mix of learning from doing things, Q learning, and finding the best solutions, the A star search, is really exciting for AI. It's especially useful when we need AI that can make good decisions and solve problems efficiently in situations that are complex and full of different choices. Ever wondered how AI systems manage to get smarter, day by day? The secret to their ever-growing intelligence lies in a series of crucial steps that guide their learning. Let's zoom in on these six vital points. The first point to understand is the environment and agent, the core components of Q learning. Here, we'll see how the AI interacts with its surroundings and what impact this interaction has on its learning journey. Moving on, our second point involves states and actions within the environment. This is where the real action happens, and we'll discover how the AI makes choices and navigates through various scenarios. Next, the third key element, the Q table, is our focus. Think of it as the AI's cheat sheet, constantly updating and guiding its decisions. Then, in our fourth aspect, learning by doing, we'll see how the AI learns from trial and error, much like we do. Updating the Q table is the fifth step, a crucial part of the AI's learning process, where it refines its strategy and decision-making skills. And finally, the sixth step, continuous improvement and mastery, showcases the culmination of the AI's learning journey. All these steps come together to make AI systems not just smarter, but truly intelligent. Large language models, LLMs, like GPT-3, have really pushed forward how AI can understand and use language but they run into some big problems. One major issue is that they need a lot of data to learn. These models use huge amounts of text to get good at making sentences and talking like humans. This is great for making them sound natural, but it also means they can only be as good as the information they've been trained on. Another problem is that once an LLM is trained, what it knows doesn't change. It can't learn new things or adjust after it's been trained. So, as time goes by and the world changes, the LLM's knowledge gets out of date. This is a problem in fast-changing situations where being up-to-date is really important. Understanding the deeper meaning or real intention in complex or very specific situations is also hard for LLMs. They can create text that sounds like a human wrote it, but figuring out the real meaning behind words, especially when it's about cultural details, feelings, or complex ideas, is still tough for them. Lastly, LLMs can't really adapt in real time. They can't easily keep up with new trends, slang, or changes in how people use language, which can make them less relevant and effective as time goes on. 
Q Learning keeps updating its knowledge from new information and interactions. It stands out because it's more flexible and keeps learning over time, unlike LLMs, which rely heavily on lots of data and don't change once they're trained. It is also really good at focusing on specific goals. While LLMs are great for general language tasks, Q Learning can be set up to meet certain targets. This makes it really handy for different uses, like in video games, robots, giving personalized tips, or making plans. Another cool thing is that it thinks about the future, not just the quick wins. This means it can make smarter choices by considering what will happen later, not just what's best right now. This is super helpful in situations where what seems good in the short term might not be the best in the long run. Q learning is also adaptable and flexible, so it can work well in situations that are less predictable or more complicated than what LLMs can handle. This makes Q learning a more versatile tool for all sorts of AI projects. Google is stepping up its game in AI and machine learning with its new language model, Gemini. It's said that Gemini will use a tree search method, a smart way of solving problems that's a bit like Q learning. By adding tree search to Gemini, Google is moving away from how most big language models work right now. These models usually just look for patterns in big sets of data. But with tree search, Gemini can do more than that. It can explore different paths, remember them, and learn from what happens. This means Gemini could be really good at things that need careful thinking and planning, doing these tasks better and more accurately than older models. Using tree search also means Gemini can be more than just a model that reacts to what it gets. It might be able to think ahead and get ready for what's coming next. This is a big change and could be really useful in areas where planning ahead is important, like in business science, or even creative projects. When we look at Q Learning and Google's Gemini next to the usual big language models, we see some important differences. These show us how Q Learning and Gemini are changing the way AI is made and used. A big plus for these newer models is that they keep learning and adapting. Regular large language models can't because they're stuck with what they learned during their training. But newer models can keep up with new stuff and changes, making them more flexible and better suited for different situations. Another key thing is how they can plan and think ahead. Regular models are good at making text that sounds human because they mimic patterns they learned from their data, but they're not that great at thinking strategically or planning for the future. Gemini's tree search and Q Learning's focus on goals change this. They're not just about understanding or making words, they're also about making smart decisions and solving problems. These newer models are also more focused and effective at reaching specific targets. While the usual models are more like jacks of all trades, Gemini and Q learning models can be customized for particular jobs, leading to better and more useful results. Everyone's talking about Google's new AI model, Gemini, but it's taking longer to come out than we expected. Why the wait? Some people think Google might be running into some tricky technical problems. After all, making something as advanced as Gemini isn't easy. It could be that they're working out the kinks to make sure everything runs smoothly and the way it should. Another thought is that Google might be delaying Gemini on purpose. In the world of tech, where new things come out all the time, maybe they want to make sure Gemini is more than just another AI model. They could be adding extra features or making it even better than what we've seen before, like GPT-4. There's a lot of excitement about what Gemini could do, especially if it uses something like Q-Learning. This could make Gemini a really smart model that keeps getting better over time. So, while we're all waiting to see Gemini, the big question is, will it be a game changer in AI? We're all curious to see how it'll compare to what's already out there, and if it'll bring some new, cool features to the table. What's next for LLMs? It looks like the next big thing for large language models is to become more dynamic and flexible, and Q Learning is leading the way. Imagine future models like GPT-5 or GPT-6 using Q Learning. This could really change the game in AI. These models wouldn't just be good at working with language, they'd also be able to learn from what happens around them, change how they respond based on what they've learned before, and think about the long-term effects of their decisions. Adding Q Learning could fix some big problems with current LLMs. Right now, they rely a lot on fixed sets of data and often have a hard time with the finer points of language and meaning. But with Q Learning, future LLMs could get better on the fly, becoming more accurate and even more creative with their words. So, what do you think about the exciting future of AI with Q Learning? Join the conversation below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.